March Madness has begun for more than just basketball players. This is the busiest time of year for Irish dancers. They'll perform at tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day Parade like they have for decades. And as Local 12 Sydney Benter found out, that's only the beginning. Some kids put on soccer socks. These girls glue on their socks. It's part of the art of Irish dancing. Not all of my friends really know what it is. They have to lace up warm up and strategize. Then you can be a three because that's an easy step. The McGing Irish dancers have been entertaining audiences for four decades. They're disciplined and precise. Their costumes a feast for the eyes. The room just goes crazy for them. You know people just love it. It brings joy and happiness across the board no matter where we dance. Tonight it's a retirement home. Tomorrow, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We call it March Madness, but it's Green March Madness. So what we do is we just go out and we dance. For some, it's a hobby. For others, it's in their blood. I have a whole family that dances. All my cousins dance, and my parents used to dance, and my grandma danced back when she lived in Ireland. The woman who's had the corner on the market here in the Tri-State is Mary McGing Duckworth. This is when I was the parade princess, yes. Owning her own dance school wasn't always the plan. The teacher said, I think I'm finished with this, why don't you start doing it? So I was a sophomore in college, January of my sophomore year, I turned around and became the teacher. Now 40 years later, the school has grown from about a dozen dancers to well over 200. It went from the young Irish girls to something that people just want to do. I want to play soccer, I want to try Irish dancing, I want to try swimming. With a lot of hard work, and of course a little luck, this Irish tradition is alive and well still today. Sydney Benton, Local 12 News. And they're really good at it. The St. Patrick's Day Parade steps off tomorrow at noon.